A wildcat is the safest and easiest way to learn backflips on a snowboard. It's also easier to execute on small features. A trampoline will help you to get the feeling of a wildcat style flip and spotting your landing while upside down. It also helps you understand how extending and tucking the body can slow down and speed up rotation. The feeling on a snowboard, however, is quite different than the way it feels on a tramp because a jump heavily assists with the backflip motion and popping from the tail of your board helps to initiate flip. Try to find or build a lippy jump into some powder or soft snow to learn on. On the approach, ride with a completely flat base. Keep your shoulders in line with your nose and tail and your back arm lifted high. Ride up the takeoff in a stable crouch position with both knees bent. Try to match the angle of your upper body with the angle of the lip. When you pop, lean your upper body over your tail, push up and back with your legs. Throw your back arm down and lift your front arm, creating a tilting motion with the shoulders. If your shoulders are in proper alignment with your nose and tail, your forearm will be an excellent point of reference of where to look throughout the flip. When you throw your arms and tilt your shoulders towards the tail, your line of sight should follow your lead arm upwards and around. As you start to rotate, pull in at the knees and grab Indy. This is the easiest grab for a wildcat. It helps keep you tight and makes it look way better. It'll accelerate your rotation, so be careful how much energy you put into the flip and how quickly you tuck in for the grab. If you over rotate, you'll land on your tail and crash. If the jump is very lippy, then less energy is required. Spotting the direct point of landing on this trick can be difficult. Instead, pay attention to where the ground is in relation to your height. Air awareness and timing is everything, so getting comfortable with quick backflips on the trampoline will help with getting the right amount of rotation on snow. When you start to spot the ground, let go of the indie grab and extend your legs accordingly. Push your back foot out slightly more than your front foot so your tail can absorb some of the impact on landing. Staying back foot heavy on landing will also help you ride out in pow, soft snow, and bumpy terrain. After you've started stomping wildcats, you can experiment with them on bigger jumps and trying different grabs. This tutorial is filmed at Whistler Blackcomb. You're riding with snowboard addiction. Our goal is to improve your riding.